Hi dear friends, welcome to the Film Journal channel on the news category. Today's issue. Radiograph of a family wins Best Feature Documentary Prize at ITFA. Slam Dance announces 2021 lineup. New Disabilities Showcase. Iwila Christoph's Fear wins Best Film at Talent Black Knights. And now about everything in order. Before watching the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. You know that you are always welcome to hear. Canadian drama No Trace and documentary 18th and Grand The Olympic Auditorium Story bookend and 25 strong feature line up at the upcoming virtual Slam Dance Film Festival 2021, which is also unveiling a new section for creators with the disabilities. The festival runs from February 12 to 25, 2021, and includes 107 shorts and episodics. All films, Q&As and panels will be available on slamdance.com and select platforms. New program Unstoppable will feature 22 short films from up-and-coming filmmakers with disabilities, include actors with disabilities or highlight the conversation of disabilities in today's world. Programmed entirely by artists with disabilities, the mission is to amplify their contributions of the disabled community and advocate for their inclusion in the entertainment industry. The feature selection includes 20 premiers, 20 worlds, 4 North America, one US and encompasses films from the UK, Australia, Finland, Hong Kong, Indonesia, Lithuania, Romania, Taiwan and the US. And Tenth and Grant, the Olympic Auditorium Story by Steven Debrow plays in spotlight and chronicles the life of a 20th century fate palace and the woman who ran it. No trace, no trace from Simon Labue, placing the breakout section for people who, unlike those in the main section, have already made their first film. It takes place in the near future, as a smuggler takes a young woman and her child across the border. Discussing the festival's official theme Greenlight Yourself, Slam Dance president and co-founder Peter Baxter said it was inspired by resilience and creativity in an unprecedented year. The shared journey ahead for slam dance filmmakers, alumni community and organization is to greenlight yourself and triple down on not only who we are, said Baxter, but how we can continue expanding the many ways we support the filmmakers who are the future of independent filmmaking. Director Ayala Christov and producer Asin Vladimirov have won the Grand Prix for Best Film for Bulgarian Drama Fear at Tallinn Black Knights Film Festival POF. Christov and Vladimirov share the 10,000 euro grant that comes with the win. They were awarded the prize by a jury consisting of Mark Adams, Mostafa Sarva Faruqi, Isabella Kaska Hoflik and Esther Kunti. The jury praised a beautifully made film that astutely balances dry humor with important contemporary drama at a period when the subject of immigration is very much in the headlines. This feature is very much a film for our times. Grand Prix winner screening is a story about the refugee crisis, about confronting fees and the challenges we have as a society. Fuck. Кафе? Fuck, fuck, fuck. Светло има негар. Какво ще го правиш? Еми ти си кметица, ти кажи. Не ми стигат мангалите, тя не греши в живота. Лотър за къпане. Едно танго. Ме я се разкарай. How are you? Who are you? Do you know where you are now? Yes, Bulgaria.
is with you. It's the last <laughs> art director. Uh, oh, well, that's very really important. The uh, role also in the film. So. <laughs> Congratulations, TLJ. We also would like to ask you to give us a short acceptance speech. This is a big surprise. I'm not ready. Please. Uh, Can we give you? Amsterdam-based documentary festival ITFA has crowned Feroza Kosorani's Radiograph of a Family as Best Feature-Length Documentary at its 2020 awards ceremony. The Best Feature-Length Documentary winners receives 20,000 euro, while other awards range from 10,000 euros to 2,500 euros. Jury members for the ITFA competition for feature-length documentary were Mary Pierre Meisha, Ed Luckman, Alice Diop, Abdel Kader Benali, and Finn Halliden. Director Ferrao Zakosrowani, first duty profession documentarist, manages to get not just under the skin of her family, but also under that of modern Iran in her spare but inventing and revealing a radiograph of a family. Kosorvani's essay film could be described as pre-autobiography, as the history is deals with is less her own, although she figures prominently, than that of her parents, whose relationship is irrevocably transformed by seismic changes in their nation's history. Premiering in Itfa, Radiograph should attract festival and niche platform slots for its individual and relieving approach to the themes of family relations, memory and women's social roles. The film begins with a strange statement from Kosrovani – mother married, father's photograph. This proves to be literally true. Hussein, her father-to-be, was away in Switzerland when he was due to marry his beloved fiancé Tai. So told their families to celebrate their wedding without him pending his return. Also running throughout the film is the leitmotif of a long white room, shown in slow tracking shots, representing the filmmaker's family home before her birth and during her childhood, its transformations reflecting those of Iran over the years. It is seemingly in the real-life original of that room that Kosrovani concludes the film. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. You are also welcome here. La 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 la